So hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see a fast formula for the input validation, how we can apply a fast formula on an in, uh, input. So let's move ahead and see our requirements. So we are going to validate the uh, amount input uh, of an element to accept a value greater than 5000, which will be uh, crucial for ensuring the data integrity. By implementing validation checks, the system can reliably uh, reliably reject inputs that do not meet the uh, criterion, thereby enhancing the accuracy and reliability of the application's data processing. And uh, uh, what are the inputs we are going to take? The, uh, uh, we are going to take entry value and the return variable will be formula status and formula message. So let's move to our instance and uh, see how we can do that. So let's move to home page. And then my client group compensation. We are going to create a element. So if you scroll down, we'll see the element. And I'm going to create an element. So I'll click on this plus icon which says create. I click on that. I'll choose the legislative data group as US. Uh, primary classification will be standard earning. Criteria uh, crit category will be standard and I'll click on continue. Name I'm going to provide is. Uh, we'll create a basic salary element and uh, in that what we want, we want uh, and the amount input uh, field should accept greater than uh, value greater than 5000. OK, let me change the effective date to 1101. And earliest entry date will be first standard earning date. And uh, last standard earning date. And click on next. Uh, calculation rule will be flat amount. And periodicity will be calendar month. Conversion rule will be standard rate analyzed then i'll click on next and uh, if you want you can review over here and i don't uh, and uh, you can click click on submit i'll click on submit we'll wait for some time to for the element to be created It will take little time, so we will wait for another few seconds. Okay, let me click on OK. And uh, OK, so you can say the status is processing. Uh, let's come back to element again. We'll search for our element. Use legislative data and we'll click on search.
okay so our element has been created so i'll click on this uh, basic salary element and we'll create our element eligibility so i'll click on element eligibility then action and create element eligibility let me change the effective date and i'll give the name as as and i'll click on save okay okay let me come back over here again okay let's try again to create our element eligibility so action create element eligibility okay i forgot to change the date let me let's come back and try and change the date first zero one and uh, now i'll search for element eligibility i'll click on action now it should be saved okay i'll click on submit so on the left hand side which says input value under under that you can see different inputs like state country city pay value amount so i'll click on amount so if uh so on the amount input what we want we want is uh, uh like this input field should accept a more uh, value more than 5000 okay so let's come to our fast formula and uh, I, i'll create a fast formula so and get the name input validation and give amount input validation type i'm going to choose as element input validation element input validation i'll change the effective start date as 1101 let me choose the legislative data group as us then i'll click on continue okay so let me provide the information so i'm going to give the name of the first formula which is I'll, I'll copy it from here copy and paste what is the type type is element input validation and i'll provide the this description which is this formula uh, the, for the formula will accept value more than 5000 for the amount and put f i input field okay so let me define the input what which was inputs are entry value so this is our input now let's move 
so this formula we are going to directly apply on the input so we are taking this entry value and now what we have to do we need to apply a condition which says if entry value is less than equal to five oh okay i'll i'll make it greater than equal to greater than five thousand then 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 what it should do then it should print the form formula status as success else uh, oh sorry and the message should be success full okay else formula status is equal to error and uh, formula message is equal to please enter the value mode uh, above 5000 now we need to return formula status and formula message i click on save and uh, let's compile it first i click on refresh we'll wait for some time okay it is throwing some error let me refresh it again okay let's submit and we'll try to compile it again Okay, line 11. Okay, let me come. Yes, and US legislative. Okay, this is our formula. I click on edit and let me change this to then. We click on okay let me click on save and submit and we'll compile the formula let me refresh it okay now the formula has been uh, compiled now we'll attach this formula to our element so we'll again go to our element and we'll search for element and I'll click on edit and uh, we'll pick uh, uh, click on amount input value and I'm going to update it so if you scroll down you can see here you can see here validation formula so I'll click on this and at the top miss you can see the our formula which we just created as amount input validation so i'll click on that and uh, in the warning or error we want to show it as uh, error we don't want user to move uh, ahead so i'll click on error and we'll click on save and we'll submit it now 
let's attach this element to a person so we'll come back to home and in the my client group here you can see person management so i'll click on person management i'll search for the person which is 1030 i'll search it and in the action you can see payroll and element entry now we'll add that element which we created so i'll search for the element i'll type as here you can see as basic salary so i'll click on that i'll click on continue and uh, let's provide a value less than uh, 5000 and let's say for formula is working properly or not so i'll click on save okay so it is throwing an error which says please enter the value above 5000 let's uh, let me try for 0999 okay i'll click on save okay so it is throwing an error and so you can't uh, move ahead you can't save the uh, element so i'll click on okay and uh, i'll try with 5000 so 5000 and let's try to save that okay so 5000 is also not accepting we'll uh, we'll go with 6000 so i'll go with 6000 i'll click on save this will accept okay so no error message nothing so the element has been attached to to the uh, person so this is all for this video we'll uh, meet in the future with some more cases thank you for watching the session